right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate your HostGator hosting account's email with your personal or professional Gmail account. Uh, in this case, I am logged into my personal email account, and I'm going to be configuring it so that I can receive emails that are sent to my professional uh, website uh, under my professional domain name, and I'll be able to respond to those emails from within my same uh, Gmail account. So I'm going to show you how to do that too. So inside of uh, your Gmail account, you're going to look for this little uh, gear icon, and uh, that's your settings uh, icon. We're going to click on it and select settings from the drop-down menu, and uh, you have various options on the top bar. The one that we are interested in the most is the accounts and import option. All right. So what we look for here is the section labeled "Check Mail from Other Accounts Using Pop3." We're going to click on add a POP3 mail account you own, and you're going to get a little pop-up window here. Let's start by typing in the email address. This is the email that's set up at your HostGator hosting account. So I've set up a temporary one just for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to click the um, uh, next step button. For username, you're gonna you're gonna put in your username the same way that you put in your username when you log in to check your webmail via the webmail interface at your HostGator hosting account. In other words, you're gonna put your full email address. So let's do that. And with that done, we're gonna put in our email password. Now this is not your Gmail password. This is the password that belongs to that hosting account's email address that you're putting in here. Um, let's see here. Okay, now that's done. For pop server, you're going to put mail.yourdomain.com. Naturally, replace the words your domain with your actual domain. So here I'm putting this one here, our temporary one, uh, for demonstration purposes. Uh, take a look at these options. See if any of these work for you, depending on what you want. Uh, this is all uh, your choice. Uh, for example, if you want to leave a copy of the retrieved messages on the HostGator server, then put a check mark here. Uh, this is useful if uh, you want to have a type of redundancy. For example, uh, you want to have those emails in your Gmail account, but you also want to have uh, copies of it in your main hosting account. Then you have two places where those emails will be if you accidentally delete one somewhere. And you may still be able to find it at the other hosting account, you know, at the other email account. So that's always good if you're, uh, if, uh, if you're big on uh, redundancy and backups and things of that nature. In my case, uh, at this time for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and leave this blank. Okay, so the next option is the always use a secure connection when retrieving mail. This is totally up to you. An option that I do recommend is placing a check mark here where it says label incoming messages because you want to be able to tell apart. You're going to be using one email account at the uh, Gmail server uh, to retrieve uh, email accounts from, from a number of uh, outside email accounts. So we want to be able to tell which emails came from where. So I do definitely recommend using the labeled incoming messages option. And in fact, updating the label itself to something a little bit more custom that makes some sense to you. So in this case, I'm going to pull up this uh, pull down menu and select um, the new label option. We're going to type in a new uh, label and just give it a name and press the OK button to continue. So now whenever a new email comes in from this particular server, um, it's going to have a little label associated with it and we're going to be able to tell um, where it came from. Alright, so we're going to click the Add Account button to continue. Let's not worry about any of this browser stuff. Uh, next, uh, we are asked if we also want to be able to send mail as whatever our new email uh, address is and uh, I definitely recommend setting it to yes because this is going to allow people to send you mail to whatever number of emails you have into this account and when you open it rather than replying from your Gmail account you can have your Gmail account send that email on behalf of you through your HostGator server so it doesn't go out as a spoofed email so it actually like so I mean so that so it actually does in fact uh, get sent from the actual server itself under that domain name. 
So, all right, so let's go ahead and click the next step button to continue. Type in the email address that you want to associate, I mean, type in the, type in the name that you want associated with that uh, outgoing email. We're gonna go ahead and set it up as treat as alias and click next step. So here we're gonna do the same thing. Now pay attention to this part because it says SMTP dot whatever your domain name is. We want to make sure it always reads mail. So it's going to be mail dot uh, whatever the domain name is. That's going to be the outgoing, the incoming, the IMAP. That's always going to be uh, something consistent with uh, uh, HostGator servers. Uh, everything is based on that name, so it keeps it simple. You know, anything dealing with your, your mail, it's always going to be mail dot your domain dot com. Um, the port's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, type in a username, and uh, the username is your full email address. So, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna put in our email password over at the HostGator side. Uh, let's see here. Let's do it again. And we're going to press the add account button now. The secure connection, I recommend leaving it as TLS and press the add account button to continue. Okay, so at this point, uh, you're going to get a congratulations message. They sent out an email, so we got to go to our, um, to our email system at, on the HostGator side. We're going to go to this uh, new domain name. slash webmail and we're going to log in using our credentials and our password bam all right so now that we are logged into our webmail system uh, you can choose any one of these I'm going to go with round cube so I should have an email from uh, uh, Google at this point here it is and it says you have requested to add this email to your Gmail account confirmation code we're gonna copy this and place it here and click the verify button and that takes care of it I'm pretty sure I could have also closed that window and clicked on this link and that would have also taken care of it but since we're already doing it might as well get it done the way it's already set up to be um, at this point, uh, you have your new email account here. It uh, says last checked one minute ago. Uh, let's go ahead and click the check mail button. Okay, so at this point, basically, Gmail goes into your email and starts checking for any new emails. All right, so let's go to our inbox here. And notice how it did drag a copy of that email that Gmail sent earlier. So that this email got brought into our Gmail account, and it has a label, the label that we gave it. And sure enough, it's here. Now, obviously, we don't need to worry about the content of this email, but you can see that now we are effectively receiving emails inside of our Gmail account.